Hey everybody, how are we doing? Can you see me okay? Can you hear me okay? Uh, some of you who are just joining us probably were expecting Fallout 76. It is down for maintenance, unfortunately. It is just not able to be played currently. Uh, I did not realize that it was going to be down for maintenance. So we're going to, I, I just kind of threw, <laughs> threw on Pokemon really quick uh, to continue this journey with you guys. Uh, as kind of a, a makeup, so we'll still stream from 11 to 1. We could talk about Fallout. We could talk about Fallout. Uh, we could talk about Pokemon. We could talk about whatever you want. We just can't play Fallout at the moment. So, how are we doing, everybody? Heard <laughs> Fallout 76 was already, already on sale. Yeah. This is a wonderful surprise. <laughs> Yeah, I've been really enjoying this. We've made quite a lot of progress. Um, our dex is looking really good. Our dex, our dex is looking pretty good. Why is this game so jealous? I don't know, it really is. It's super relaxing. I've had a great time with it. We got 127 of the Mons at the moment. Um, I figured we could do Zapdos. Uh, that might be fun. We could catch Zapdos. I can also show you guys, if you're interested, Pokemon Park. We don't have to spend a ton of time there, um, but I have some Pokemon waiting for me in Pokemon Park if you guys want to see what that's like. Boy. Holy moly already? Yeah, it. <laughs> I've dumped, I don't know how many Pokemon I've dumped from Go into Let's Go, but the reason my dex is so full is because I've played a lot of Pokemon Go, and so a ton of Pokemon are coming from there as well. Let's show you guys the, the Go Complex. I have Meltan as well that I can transfer. We can maybe do that on stream if you guys want to see Meltan. Uh, I don't have Malmetal because it takes 400 candies to evolve. Ben, you can catch 76 Pokemon and call it a fun 76 stream. It's a cute idea. Uh, Ron Spies, 19 months in a row. Ron's Pies, excuse me. Planning on picking up my copy of Let's Go Pikachu this week, and it's 100% of your streams have sold me on it. Nice. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Um, I will say, as I, and I have, I have really, truly enjoyed this. However, it's only made me hungrier for Gen 8. I want new Pokemon. I want a new region. I want new mechanics. I want, I want everything. Like, now I'm ready for new Pokemon. How hype are you about getting that perfectly timed into Nurse Smash in the Ultimate Preview? That's my favorite moment in the preview. Well, that or the, the Fatal Frame stage. Both are very good. Uh, Kanji Bike in 26 months. Thank you. Alright, so we'll go to the Pokemon car- uh, the, the, the Go Park. After you dump your Pokemon from Go into here, this is where you- you go. Go, 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 go. This was supposed to be a Fall 76 stream, uh, Stokone guy. Uh, like I said at the top, though, it's, Fallout 76 is down for maintenance, so we can't play it. Unfortunately. I wish it was a Fallout 76 stream. Sorry to, sorry to disappoint. Uh, I would... <laughs> the scheduling is a little tight this week. It's also Thanksgiving this week, so I don't know when I'll be able to do a makeout... Uh, not a makeout stream. A makeup stream. Um, but Ian wants to stream Fallout 76, and he's gone today. He's out of town. So maybe this this will work out for the best. Maybe the next time I can do Fallout 76, Ian can do Fallout 76. <laughs> and we can play together. Because it'll be much better if, if Ian is there too. Alright, so here's some of the mons that I've transferred. Some of the mons. Which one do we want to catch? Let's catch Gloom. But will Fallout ever return from it? Shiny hunting win. I haven't gone shiny hunting yet. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in watching. I know other streamers do that. After we beat the game, I'm definitely down for shiny hunting. We can also check out the master trainers as well. Alright. So let's catch our, our Pokemon Go Pokemon. I have to say, definitely prefer playing in handheld mode. Get the full dex first so you can get the shiny charm. You get a shiny tar charm for getting a full dex? Didn't know. Make out stream. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. 
Saying make out stream with the Huber crying emote is pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Make out stream. 18 plus. Alright, we gotta stop this. This is gonna go bad place. It's already in a bad place. It's gonna go worse places. Who here? Okay. Who here doesn't like the Oddish line? The Oddish line has something for everybody. <laughs> You've got the adorably small and just friendly Oddish. You've got the weird, lazy, gloom. Not really lazy. It looks lazy, but... And then you've got, like, the gloriously beautiful vile plume. You fit every personality type. Smells incredibly foul. However, around one out of a thousand people enjoy sniffing its nose-bending stink. Wait a minute. Let's reread that. Smells incredibly foul. Okay, so that's how it sets this up. Smells awful. However, one weirdo out of a thousand enjoys this. Is the Pokedex kink-shaming? That's a weird Pokedex entry. That's a weird Pokedex entry. <laughs> That's my fetish. Sniffing gloom is my fetish. <laughs> wow, what a weird stream. Okay. You know what? Let's catch Grimer. Uh, where do you catch Mr. Mime? I haven't seen a Mr. Mime. Is he just on a route and it's just a rare chance? Oh, we gotta get Persian. We gotta get Golduck! Surprise stream? Yeah. Um, I, I imagine, understandably, I'll have to repeat this a couple of times just because people are coming in. Which makes sense. Fallout 76 is down for maintenance at the moment. So we can't play Fallout 76. We were intending to play Fallout 76. Can't happen. Um, if somebody could let me know if it comes back up, we might try to sneak some time in. But otherwise, we'll just talk about kink shaming and Pokedex entries. I'll keep an eye on their Twitter and Reddit. Thank you, Snowcone Guy. That's awfully nice of you. Uh, I beat Blaine last night. I wish I actually could have shown the, the Cinnabar Island gym because I really love the way it looks in Let's Go. Uh, but we already did that. However, we could fight Giovanni today. Its long, slim limbs end in broad flippers. They're used for simming, swimming gracefully in lakes. The Megatherium just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you. Ben, what would your thoughts be on a Smash-style Pokemon game with each Pokemon from Gen 1? Um, Stretch Malone, I would be way down with Smash with just Pokemon. That'd be cool. I'd be disappointed if it was only Gen 1, to be honest with you. As much as I love Gen 1, uh, I'd be disappointed if it was only Gen 1. What do you guys think? Should we go to the, the power plant? Catch up to us? How many badges do I have? I have seven of the eight currently. Should we go catch up to us? I think it's a good idea. Wrangle that big bird. How are we doing on our ultra balls? I think we're doing okay. Guys. Let's Go has put me in an uncontrollable Pokemon mood, and somebody uh, somebody on Twitter, Alexander Arts, actually, suggested that I do a Nuzlocke of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And I've never actually played Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and I would like to. And I don't know if doing a Nuzlocke would be good, or just doing a normal playthrough because I haven't played it. I don't know. I think a Nuzlocke would be more entertaining for you guys, for sure. 100%. Uh, but do you want Nuzlocke or do you want regular? Either way? Okay. This is not the... How do you get to the power plant? Here, we can just do this. Nuzlocke is crazy. Nuzlocke would be fun. Nuzlocke... What does a Nuzlocke explain? Okay. Um... So for those of you who don't know, you can do a bunch of modification for Nuzlocke, but 
basically, and chat can fill me in if I get any of this wrong, but uh, Nuzlocke, if you have a Pokemon die, you have to release it. That's it. It's over. Also, you can only catch one Pokemon per area as well. Cerulean City, Route 9. Okay, thank you, chat. I'll go to the power plant. So it's... It's like Pokemon, but intense as hell. Wait, you get... You get to the power plant? From Route 9. Okay. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you. Cerulean go east. Get to before the Pokemon Center. You surf. Thank you, Carablade. That's perfect instructions. One per area. Yeah, you can only catch one Pokemon per area. Um, and then there's a bunch of other things you can do on top of that. As well. So it might be super fun. I mean, I guess on one hand, I've already played through Gen 2 before. I've played Gold and Silver, so I have like some experience. But yeah. Uh, the very first Pokemon you encounter per area. Yeah, that's a more, yes, M button is correct. It is not one Pokemon per area, it is the first Pokemon that you encounter. Yes. Wrong way? Okay. I had a feeling I was going the wrong way. Can you pull out Cubone for me at some point? Absolutely, Winfishy. We can do that just for you. Let's just make sure we're on the right track. Um, it's also, I mean, Nuzlocke is great because you get super attached, right? You don't have the benefit of just throwing Pokeballs at everything. It's like, well, this, this is what I've got. I've got to take this with Rattata with me forever. And so you just have this huge bond. It might be fun. Do we we cut and then go east? Do you think the new Pokemon will look like this? I think yes. I I do it. Yes, I think it will look similar to this. Cut and east. Thanks, Ulf. Where Rocket went through? Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, let's get Cubone out. Shall we? I think the battles will have much more animation. Yeah, I'm not saying... Like, I think this will be a, a baseline, I guess, is a more accurate way to describe it. Alright, where's Cubone? We have you somewhere, buddy. There you are. And party. Oh, we need to go to a Pokemon Center as well. That's from his battle with Blaine. People on Twitter say that there's a 50 gig Fallout 76 update. There was a 50 gig update on consoles earlier. It was 15 gigs on PC. Is there another update that size? Two in a week would be insane. At this point in the game, how's the difficulty? It's still very easy. Um, it does get a little bit harder for sure, but not, not anything remotely approaching hard. Especially if you're using your partner Pokemon. No, this is wrong. Do you ever try styling Eevee's hair? No, I haven't. Uh, do you have to do it when Eevee doesn't have a hat on? Because I've definitely rubbed the head. I think you might have to make particular motions for Eevee's hair as well. I sure do. So, what Pokemon can you surf on with Sea Skin? There's Gyarados, but who else? 
Lapras, right, we did Lapras last night. Do you guys want to see Lapras again? I know we've already done Lapras, but... Lapras hype, okay, we'll do Lapras. Can you do Tentacruel? I'd love to see Tentacruel. I don't... I think I have Tentacruel. I'm not actually sure if I have Tentacruel. We'll see. Stupid ball. Okay, Tentacruel. Yes, we do! Look at that big boy! Look at that big boy. Yeah, we can do Tentacruel. If you can surf on Tentacruel. We'll have to hop out of the water and get back in. Oh, it looks like uh, Tentacruel's just a follow. We'll double check, but it looks like it's, yeah, it's just a land follow. I mean, we can appreciate Tentacruel like this, but it looks like we can't surf on it. That's too bad. That's too bad. We can do Lapras though. Here we go. Whoop. Yeah, it is. Tentacruel definitely seems like a perfect candidate. Odd. Hmm. Wait a minute. What? Oh, we didn't take it. Did we not take it out of the Pokeball? No, we didn't. Okay. There we go. Aha! Wish you could ride slow, bro. Absolutely. And you just move super slow. <laughs> that would be great. Is this the right way? Yes, it absolutely is. Look at this Pokemaniac. It's ready to fight. Wow, you came all the way here? Maybe you're a Pokemaniac too. Want to see my collection? What aspects of Let's Go do you think we'll see in the next mainline Pokemon? Easy Pokemon swapping, motion controls. Um, I'll tell you what I would like to see. I would like to see your box with you at all times. If, if that's not in there, that is something I'm going to miss for sure. Being able to swap Pokemon in and out so easily is, is a gift. Uh, I like seeing Pokemon in the overworld quite a bit as well. That would be sweet. Freeze it, Frost! It is nice, though, not having the, uh, like, it's super effective stuff labeled with the moves from Sun and Moon. It has helped me with types again. It's helped me relearn types and kind of drill those things into my brain. I appreciate that. I actually hope they keep that for Gen 8. Lickitung's just a normal type, right? Uh, Stretch Malone just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Eevee voiced by Sean Bean. Uh, we actually don't have a Lickitung. Lickitung is one of the Pokemon that we're missing as well. I don't know where you catch Lickitung, and I don't know where you catch Mr. Mime in Let's Go. Uh, Carablade says, I think they could implement a portable box by having a device that they can instantly transfer Pokemon to you from the PC. They start selling $1,200 PCs that you need to use to store your Pokemon. Also, you get Mew. Can we name... He named it Jones. Yeah, I named it the Charizard Jones. <clears throat> I 
What is your favorite sun and moon Pokemon? Great question. Tough question. Uh, because there's so many of them I like. But it's also at the point now where I'm getting fuzzy on some of the names. So, to give you the most accurate answer, I'd have to look at a list. However, I really like Decidueye a lot. A lot, a lot. Decidueye is up there. Uh, Mimikyu is also great, for sure. Should we get a catch combo going? I need an Electrode. Alolan Raichu is... Yeah, Alolan Raichu is a very good choice. It's alright, Sophie. You'll be alright. Yes. Alolan Raichu. Yeah. I think I could even convince myself that Alolan Raichu is my number one. It's very good. It does feel a little bit weird picking Alolan. Uh, just because they're redone versions of Gen 1 Pokemon, so I'm, I'm trying to stay away from them. I'm trying to think of... Just brand new, exclusive Gen 7 Pokemon. Guzzlord. Guzzlord is pretty rad. I actually haven't encountered Guzzlord. But Guzzlord is pretty rad. Here, let's get... Ch we should probably do... Oh, there's an Electrode. Here we go. We're crossing it off the list. Hopefully. Yeah, this is this has got me wanting to play a lot more Pokemon. I started uh, Gen 5. I'm in Pinwheel Forest in Gen 5. I might continue Gen 5. And then I might even do Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm definitely in a Pokemon mood. Gen 5 is so good. I have loved Gen 5 so far. And what I've loved about Gen 5 so far is the story in particular. Uh, that is what I've liked. It also looks fantastic. That's the point to get you hooked? Yeah, man, I feel... I feel hooked. In like... In like a way that I've been duped. Game Freak currently has me by the balls. Electro's data will be added to the Pokedex. So is electrical energy inside its body, even the slightest shock. Trigger an explosion. Hubert downloaded uh, Let's Go last night, by the way. I'm excited to get his thoughts on it. He will be on Frame Trap this week. Let's see what he has to say. Alright, we got an Electrode. We gotta cross it off the list, folks. He's not the biggest Pokemon fan, fan right? He enjoys Pokemon. I, I would agree that he is not the biggest Pokemon fan. Uh, but, but he has enjoyed Pokemon from time to time, for sure. Curious what he thinks. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it will be nice to get a perspective. Well, I guess Ian, this, like, this is pretty much Ian's first Pokemon game. So, and he loves it. I'm worried that I'm going to go too far. Like, I'm worried that I'm going to start caring about shinies and, like... I'm gonna start caring about EVs and IVs, and then, and it'll just be like that song from Pokemon Rusty. <laughs> You're sucking the foot out. All right, we'll try to get a catch combo going. Do you think Kyle will play this game eventually? I don't know. Um, he said something that I do completely agree with, where he's like, you know, I've I've done the Kanto journey multiple times, and I totally get that perspective. I do. I think that's fair. Um, however, I also think that Kyle loves Pokemon so much that he could crack. I think it is a possibility. I don't know, but I think it's a possibility. The abandoned power plant is the second least desired place for Coach Range to be <laughs> assigned to. No matter where I am, I'm going to do my job. 
She's just in this terrible, like, dangerous place. I don't want to be here. He ain't cracking. Apparently chat knows best, I guess. Ch apparently chat chat knows knows Kyle extremely well. <clears throat> Sometimes chat says something so confidently in in a way that like it shouldn't be confident at all that it's just extremely funny to me. Oh, my star. Is there an even, even an explanation of why your Eevee is so powerful? Not really. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say that it, it acts different from every Eevee and, and has the agency of, like, Pikachu from the anime, where it makes a lot of similar decisions. But no, not really. Flinched because of the rock slide. That's not good. Hey Ben, are you playing Black or Black 2? I'm playing uh, OG Black. What is my favorite evolution? Uh, Espeon is my favorite evolution. I like all of them a lot. I particularly like Umbreon, Glaceon, and Sylphion quite a bit. But I like all of them. Espeon's the best, though. In my humble opinion. Boy, I ne really needed a chill positive stream today. Well, that is this, man. That is this. First tweets come back saying fall is back online. Cool. Uh, we might... Just to be safe, we might just switch over at the hour then. We can we can do an hour of Fallout. That sounds not too bad. It'd be much different vibes. That's okay. What would you want as your partner Pokemon in real life? Uh, I think people are sick of me saying this, but it's true. Squirtle, without a doubt, I would want to be my partner Pokemon. The, the reason I have such an attachment to Squirtle is because it was my first Pokemon, and like... You can never beat your first. How old were you when you first played Pokemon? I was in third grade? So I was like... Nine, I think? I don't remember exactly, but around that time. I like to see the Squirtle love in chat. We're, we're saying uh, objectively the best Pokemon. Warframe on Switch hype. Yeah, I really want to. <laughs> really do want to do more Warframe streams. We're not done with that. I'll get back to it eventually. Spinning plates. If I did a great job for you, I'm more than happy. Here's a little something extra too. She was like holding it together, and then this just punk kid comes out of nowhere and makes her feel bad. We have so many rare candies, by the way. Uh, I don't have any experience with the generation, but I also, I really love the design of Piplup quite a bit. I don't see a lot of Piplup love, but that's okay.
There are too many Pokemon to choose your favorite. Yeah. I hear you. We have an Electro Buzz, I think? Let's double check. I'm pretty sure I have an Electro Buzz. Yes. I don't have a Hypno for some reason. Yeah, we got an Electro Buzz. Hi Ben, hi chat. Hi Ray Luaza, how you doing man? I will say Let's Go has made me realize that like the cave design and the general dungeon design in gen 1 is pretty rough <laughs> that's something they they improved tremendously in later generations which is good what does shiny electabuzz look like Can you ask Huber his team after he gets away in the game and tweet us his team? I'm very curious. Uh, we can just talk about it on Frame Trap. Why is this Pokeball upside down? Is this a trap? <laughs> yes. It's a trap! We need a Magneton, guys. We need a Magneton. No, I don't... I don't need you, Electro. Uh, we need a Magneton. We need a Magneton. We messed up our catch combo. Why does Eevee have the cutest voice ever? I don't know, man. I'm just grateful it's there. Eevee is the personification of the song You Got a Friend in Me, I think. Any anime you've been watching? I actually have not been watching a lot of anime. Um, I've watched four episodes of Goblin Slayer. And have enjoyed that reasonably enough. Uh, there's a bunch I really want to watch, though, this season. Um, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, I would really love to watch. And Kyle started watching it, and he's enjoying it. I'd like to watch that. Uh, and JoJo, obviously. I've seen the first episode of Season 5 of JoJo, but I haven't seen the rest. Then I really want to more. <laughs> I don't know what that's referencing, but that's all right. There's a lot of things I want to do, though. That's true. Uh, is something that's like it's good for weird reasons? Yeah! Um, somebody in the Discord was hyping that up. I'll have to watch that, too. You say it a lot? It's true, a lot. But no, it's just been rough with review season. I've just been playing games and then getting sucked into Pokemon Black Holes. I don't... You have to have things that don't feel like a job, though, too, right? So, like, playing games is, is, is my job currently. And so, when I want to watch stuff, I don't want to feel like... I, ha I have to watch it. I think that kind of ruins the fun a little bit. So if I'm not on the hook for something, you know, I want to do it on my own time and, and enjoy it in my own way. Uh, 
Um, because when you have an expectation for something, it's just... I don't know. People want... Updates all the time, and... You feel like you're... You, you can't... You, you need to be on a schedule, right? In your life. But it's not good to be on a schedule for every hobby that you have. Uh, Bunny Girl Senpai is the best thing this season after Gotten Sight. Yeah, uh... I don't actually know the real name of that show. It's a, it's eluding me, but I have heard that the Bunny Girl show is very good. Is playing Eevee a job or pure joy? Pure joy. Playing Eevee has been a pure joy move. There is no job in it. It's been great. Although hell, I'm I'm almost at a point where I feel like I could review it. Uh, Damiani will be reviewing. Let's go. Okay, we're back at the coach trainer. Looks like a nice game to be back into Pokemon for those without time to sink into it. I would describe it that way. I think that's a great way to describe it. Um, it is a low barrier way to get back into Pokemon. And I think there's enough of the Pokemon experience there that it makes you hungry for more and a, and a richer experience beyond it, too. You're not going to fool me, Electrode. We should maybe pop a lure to get a Magneton. Not a Voltorb. Hey, Zapdos! Power plan is very short. Which is nice. Get a catch combo going. If we can. Divinity 2 is my goatee. <laughs> Divinity 2 is one of the best role playing games I've ever played. It's fantastic. Everybody should play Divinity 2. Uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 was last year. I, I think he's just being being cute and expressing love for, for Original Sin 2. So that's my go-to this year, and I'm sad it's going to get snubbed everywhere. Iverdog, to be honest with you, I really don't personally enjoy when people say that uh i'm gonna be fighting for celeste this year i think i think people may surprise you uh with how hard they fight for celeste you know don't don't write the story before it has a chance to play out 
Celeste is, is an excellent game. But I understand loving something so much that you're pulling for it. But yeah. Celeste is wonderful. There we go. There's Magneton. Uh, not specifically you guys, I know they recognize it, especially in regards to Sandring and stuff, just against God of War and Red Redemption 2. For sure, um, I hear that, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I know it's not a, a call out to us, for sure, and I imagine Game of the Year, Game of the Years are often very similar between outlets, so I understand that. Um, but yeah. All, all I can do is try to give it the recognition that it deserves. Because it does totally deserve that recognition. Ben, have you dabbled into Spyro? Yeah, um, I'm on the third world in Spyro 1 in Reignited. And I'm having a great time. Uh, I've never played Spyro 2 and 3, though. Uh, Spyro 1 was was my was a game of my childhood. Uh, but I have no experience with Spyro 2 and 3. Dragon Quest XI for Goaty. I'm not against that idea, of course. Generates strange radio signals. It raises the temperature by 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, we also can't forget Into the Breach. Into the Breach is also is fantastic. There were a lot of good indie games this year. I'm excited to play uh, Obra Dinn, too. Obra Dinn looks wonderful. We got five minutes. Zapdos coming in hot. Beefy boy. Uh, ben, you need to play Thornbreaker or Witcher's Tale when you get some free time. It's legitimately good. Yeah, it's on the list for sure. Um, I'm ex well, I don't know if excited is the right word, but I'm curious to check out Artifact as well. Speaking of cards... Ben, what about Monster Hunter World? Didn't it come out in January? Monster Hunter World is my personal goatee, Snow Cone. I have not forgotten Monster Hunter World. Ben, I just want to play Fallout. Why are they updating in the middle of the day? Yeah. There's never a good time to update, unfortunately. It made great streams. Yeah, absolutely. Weekly Hunts. Represent Weekly Hunts. Alright, here we go. Zapdos is my favorite of the legendary bird of the three legendary birds. Right, buddy. Take this silver raspberry. Is Weekly Hunts done? No, we are taking a break from Weekly Hunts right now. But never say never. I think from my perspective, there's just a lot to stream and cover, and a lot that I want to play. And so I think variety is good for everyone involved. Son of a gun. Okay, let's try slowing you down. Mmm, didn't quite get that excellent. Dragon Quest XI worth getting or should I wait for the Switch port? I honestly think you should get it. Really do. I think it is worth the price of admission right now.
Come on, bird. Come on, bird. There's like a delay after you do the throw. Yeah! There we go. It's a <laughs> it's kind of a cheap thrill. But knowing if you caught it is my favorite high in Pokemon. Like like that that tension, that shake. It's the best part. It gets you going, gets the blood pumping. Dopamine indeed. The click, the click, exactly. Exactly. You know. You know what's up. It's like a new patch note. Doesn't double edge hurt us as well? 120 power though. I like Stealth Rock. I think we can get rid of Stealth Rock. Yeah, let's get rid of Stealth Rock. Yeah, my golem, my golem does flamethrower. What's up? <laughs> What's up? I just, I that the, the my golem knowing flamethrower is really more of a joke than anything else. We should have probably replaced flamethrower. It's pretty dumb. Absolutely. This legendary bird is said to appear when the sky turns dark and lightning showers down. Yo, let's get let's get Zapdos out of the ball. Shall we? All right, are there any other Pokemon that we can catch in Power Plant that we don't have? Sophie is staring at the Pokeball you just used with wonder and joy in its eyes. Sophie, did you switch out an Ultra Ball for a Master Ball? I'm not judging, just taking it back. No, I think it's right to judge there. Did you ever believe the B technique when catching Pokemon? I learned it was fake right before Sun and Moon. Oh, not only did I believe it, I, I treated it as a fact and I told all my friends about it and we all did it. Everybody did the B trick as a kid in my circle. I thought it was 100% true. Uh, I didn't do down and B, I just did holding down B. Alright. Let's see if there's any other Pokemon that we need here. Actually, we can check if Fallout is up, too. Why don't we do that? <clears throat> nope. We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Filling up that decks, boys. The B button was synonymous with hope. Okay. Alright, let's boot up Fallout. Let's see here. Boat. You guys, you guys are pretty, you guys are like cute funny today. I like it. I like the cute funny. It's a good vibe. Uh, if you hear noises, chat, that's Fallout. Don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. Currently offline for maintenance. Server's undergoing maintenance. Nope. Not happening not happening yet. That is that is what my client says anyway. <laughs> Woo, maintenance! I love I love we've got like uh, divisions in chat. 
People who want Fall 76 and people who want more Pokemon. It's a war! We have a war going on. Okay. Well, we can go fight Giovanni. Whoop. Hello there. We can go to Victory Road. Sorry, coughing. I have so many coughing that I need to turn into candy. Oh, the teleport to the left. Thank you. Yeah, we saw that and then immediately forgot about it. Great. I want five minutes of Fallout 76 for opinions, and then <laughs> you want Sophie back. I understand. Do I have the other legendaries? I don't have Moltres, and I don't have Mewtwo yet. I forgot that we had a lure act. <laughs> uh. Alright, chat. Are we ready to fight the man himself? The leader of Team Rocket? I will always love how the first city you visit is where the last shield medal happens. Absolutely. Yes. It's fantastic. Also, your final challenge at the Elite Four. Also fantastic. Hashtag moments. Alright. The Team Rocket arc in Ultra Sun Moon is sick, Ben. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really curious, man. I want to play Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I wish I could play it on my Switch, but that's all right. I've got love for the 3DS. Ultra Ball Me. Can you imagine? I, I mean, I. <laughs> let's just pretend the Poké Dollars are equivalent to dollars here for just a second. Just for fun. Can you imagine a kid, a little 10 year old, coming into a store, dropping 20 grand, just saying, must be nice. I'm here to fulfill my dreams. What's your favorite Pokemon size that's been a few? My absolute favorite is Pokemon Snap. My second favorite is Pokemon Conquest. Uh, but yeah, can't beat Pokemon Snap. However, aside, I really adore to my core. That, that was not intended. I really adore um, the Pokemon trading card game on Game Boy a lot. Very much loved that as a kid. I like card games. I like the Pokemon card game. You have a new favorite after you finally try Mystery Dungeon? Yeah. Mystery Dungeon definitely seems like my jam. Put it on the list! <laughs> Why is the door locked? Open sesame. Huh? Yeah, I guess that isn't gonna work. Man. Oh, hey, Mirella. Sheesh. Say something if you're standing there. Watching me act all embarrassing like that. Well, never mind that. So how many gym badges you got these days? So, tell me about yourself. Seven? Then it looks like we're even. 
All that's left now is Viridian City Gym. Same for you, right? But this place is never open. Guess we gotta tell someone that we haven't been able to get into the gym. But who should we talk to? That old man there. What? Me? I don't know anything about a thing like that. Of course you wouldn't. Sorry about that. We'll think it over ourselves. Professor Oak. Let's go see if he knows anything. Oh, if it isn't Morella and Bosman. You two are both looking a lot more grown up than the last time I saw you. And you have impeccable timing, as usual. Let me introduce you. This is my grandson. He's an asshole. Or what was his name now? Gramps, no one ever laughs at that joke. That's cute. Would you give it a break? And besides, we've already met. My own grandson, you're no fun. Yeah, yeah, sure, Gramps. More important than that, though. Bossman, you two did awesome. Morella, Bossman, you two did awesome. Huh? And Team Rocket, never thought their boss would actually be holed up there at Silphco. And the two of you managed to take him down. No, it wasn't me. Morella beat Giovanni all by herself. All I did was help out a bit. So what? You and your Pokemon did your best too, right, Bossman? So I've got a little something for you two, as a reward for your hard work. You've got a keystone. This will summon a legendary weapon. Put the keystone in your battle pocket. Oh! Is that a keystone? <laughs> what was your name again? A stone that can trigger an evolution that transcends all- Ooh, Mega Evolutions! Mega Evolutions? What's that? If you put the keystone and the right Mega Stone, you can make a Pokemon Mega Evolve in battle! Just one time per battle, though. Special conditions may apply. Your Pokemon will get all powered up to battle hard for you. Mega Evolution is the proof of the strong bond between a Pokemon and its trainer. <clears throat> a brief poem, if I may. <laughs> God damn it, Oak. <laughs> when two stones are held, when two hearts become as one, we Mega Evolve. The two stones you should be able to use, the two of you should be able to use these well. These are Mega Stones. Venusaurite, Charizardite X, Charizardite Y, and Blastoisonite. Uh, which one actually makes Charizard a dragon? You're gonna give... You're gonna take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Give these a try when you do. Sure. Power up. All right, we'll, we'll definitely use these. Y is fire flying, X is fire dragon. Thank you, Beer Spice. We'll, we'll, we'll experiment. All right, let's make sure we've got our mega evolutions in our party. Oh, no, sorry. Whoops. There, whoops is. Where do I get other mega stones? X is the pout stop. Yeah, I. X is the. Uh, yeah, X looks kind of lame. Isn't Y the one where it's sweet and black and blue? I think an EPC sells you mega stones. I can't remember where. The daycare? We'll have to sleuth it up. X is the black one? Oh, okay, that's that's the one I like, personally.
If it isn't Eevee. <laughs> you want to know what I'm doing? I'm going to take your Eevee. She's my partner now. I'm picking flowers. I'm going to make a bouquet for someone very important. It's a secret. You won't tell anyone, right, Monroe? Oh, that's right. Um, the Viridian City Gym Leader came back to the gym at last. That's what people are saying. You should head off to Viridian City. She's trampling all over the damn flowers. You can't have their Mega Evolutions out with you, right? <clears throat> Only in battle. Okay. Well, let's try him out with Mr. Giovanni. While well, we have a golem. A golem roll behind us. Wee. <laughs> oh, didn't this kid wanna fight? Did we already fight him? Did Golem is he attracted to something? Something catch your eye. Yes. Tell me your secrets. Thanks, Golem. High five. All right, Giovanni, time to take you down. Uh, let's move the Pokemon around so we start with Charizard. You can only do one per battle, though. Hmm. Not gonna be able to see them all right this second. We could go to Viridian Forest and just murder poor bugs. Or Route 2. Also fine. Oh, no, we can't. There's no wild Pokemon battles. What am I saying? There will be uh, other trainers in the gym, though. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Hello, Koga. Yo, champ of the making. Even I don't know who the Viridian City Gym Leader is, but one thing's certain. You're qualified to challenge the Gym Leader because you have seven gym brushes. Whoa, dude. This Gym Leader will be stronger than any other trainers you've ever faced. Also, I heard that the trainers here are users of ground-type Pokemon. Sweet. I work here, but I don't know who my boss is. Okay. I'm gonna take for a ride. It's not where we wanted to go, but it's okay. The Reading City Gym was closed for a long time, but now our leader is back. Command us, leader. I see. I see. Alright, well, let's just take a look at all of them. Mega Evolution. Flamethrower. Yeah! Man, I really dig the wings. I dig it in general. 
Jones avoided the attack. Like a boss. <laughs> really? He's flying above the earthquake. Come now. Alright, we'll do Charizard Y next. And then we'll do Blasters, and then we'll do Venusaur. Uh, ben, did you see the Yakuza character popularity poll results? Yes, and they picked the correct character. Good on them, as number one. Haruka 17 surprised me. Uh, Date was pretty low, too. Can't gain this, it looks like. Your Pokemon will cower at the crack of my whip. Go get him, Jones. You mega evolve. You fierce beast, you. Whips and lollipops. Weird combo. A fair point. A fair point. <laughs> Hmm. I think I like Y more than the last time I looked at it. Those wings on the Y Mega Evolution are pretty sick. Also, its its wing arms are pretty sick. I'm not against this. I still like X better. But I'm not. I'm not against why. It's kind of all over the place. I can see that opinion. It makes the critical hit sound. Let's switch out our Blastoise here. A truly strong trainer with style! Why is it so cool to me? It's more dragon-like. Ironic, though, that it is not actually a dragon. Here we go. I don't remember what Mega Blastoise looks like. Mega Blastoise wins! I love Mega Blast. Well, I think its arms are a little dumb. I love the cannon on its back, though. Very into that. Hey, Ben, hello from Liverpool. Well, hello, Rollo500, how you doing? 
Back cannon is sick to the chin. Yeah, the chin and the arm cannons I'm not into, but the back cannon is so good that I like it quite a bit. We need to get a Gengar Mega Evolution Stone. Get that sweet Mega Evolution Gengar. Okay. Venusaur, you're next. Don't remember what Mega Venusaur looks like either. So that'll be something. Uh, ben, since you're off the Hearthstone wagon, any feelings on Artifact? I'm curious. I'm not, not like, pumped or sold or anything like that, but I'll, I'll give it a try for sure. Yeah, you must be running out of steam by now. Screw Hearthstone, play Magic Arena? I already do. Alright, Venusaur. Let's do this, buddy. How fun is this game? Is it worth the purchase? I've had a great time. I think if you're going with the right mindset, you could have a good time. I think Mega Venusaur is pretty great. It makes sense. It's a remake of Pokemon Yellow. It is a remake of Pokemon Yellow, yes. No discount for the missing on the Steam sale? Dang. People should still check out the missing, though. Uh, my favorite story this year. Best ending of the year. It's, it's great. It's so good. No, Oberdin? I haven't played Oberdin yet. Yeah, my, my plea from me to you, if you have it within you, you have the ability to buy the, miss the missing, please do it. It's, it's very good. Um, the only thing that I'll say, and I've said it before, it does take kind of a while to click. Um, it's not something that you may immediately fall in love with, but it's not especially long either. It's about six hours, I would say. <clears throat> and it is worth that time. Ben, did your opinion on no Pokemon Battle change from when you first heard it to now that you're playing a game? Yeah, absolutely. I was very down on Pokemon Let's Go. Um, but after playing it, I feel much warmer about it. Yeah, I was... I don't know if I would say, like, completely against Let's Go, but I certainly wasn't for it. So it has changed. I've changed my mind. So we want to go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ha ha. Destroy Ryu, Ben. Look at how excited Tamer Jason is to fight. You can't hate the man. You can't hate the man.
I really hate when they protect themselves and they just draw things out. It's like, you and I both know how this is going to end. You beat Tamer Jason. You are in perfect harmony. I'm the Karate King. You're very rest with me. He looks very tired. Must be training all night. The Desire Index ranked this game wrong based on its reception right now. Well, that's the thing about predictions. They can be wrong. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Dark Knight. What a nice message. He's just waiting on Street Fighter VI. Good comment. Man. Before Street Fighter V came out, I thought I would be excited to play Street Fighter V the entire generation, no matter what. Just constantly going back to Street Fighter excited. I have no interest in Street Fighter V. I don't even especially like it. Like, there's, there's good things in it. There are things I like about it. But yeah, I just don't have the excitement that I thought I would have for it. <clears throat> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you've found me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, then! You shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. You are challenged by gym leader Giovanni. Here's my dog trio. I love dog trio. I just think it's very funny that Giovanni has this this super menacing speech, and then he's like, "Ha ha, dog trio, go, my little cutie pies." The trio fading is very sad. Poor little guys. Poor little guys. Wish the beam shot out of the cannons. I think that's a very understandable desire, our Seraphis. Just imagine that Diglett was Giovanni's first Pokemon. Hmm. Well, the relationship he has with his Persian, I would think that Meowth was his first. Do you think they'll expand Let's Go as a series of soft remakes, or do you think this is a one-off? Ho-ho! It's super effective. It's okay. Thanks for toughing it out so I wouldn't feel sad getting there. <laughs> Much appreciated. Um, I could totally see them doing Gen 2. Let's Go is selling well. The reception seems to be good. It is reviewed well. I could see I could very much see them doing Gen 2. 
I'm not saying that they will, but I can see it. <laughs> Better not die. That might make Ben feel bad. <laughs> uh, this is such a good time. I know people really want a Gen 4 remake, though, and since I don't have any experience with Gen 4, I would really like a Gen 4 remake, too. Um, I don't... I wouldn't want my first time experiencing Gen 4 to be in the Let's Go style, however. Are there any Pokémon that you dislike that I dislike? There are many Pokémon that I dislike, Mifuel. Yeah. There are more Pokémon that I dislike than I like. Yeah, there's, I, there's many I don't like. <clears throat> what if they knew you disliked them and then you said? Yeah, it's less fun talking about the ones I, I don't like. For sure. Do you like Soul Rock, Ben? If it's the one that I'm thinking of, not particularly, no. Do you dislike Farfetch'd? No, I, I like Farfetch. Farfetch is very lovable. Uh, we talked about it last time. I. I yeah. I I dislike far more than I like, unfortunately. Do you like Soul Bad Guy? Yes. Soul Bad Guy would be a great Pokemon. That was truly a truly intense fight. Are you gonna do any of the Master Trainer stuff after the four? Yeah, I'll definitely take a look at it. Mm-hmm. Uh don't like there's a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon I don't like. Yet again, I am defeated. As proof of your victory, here's your Earth Badge. Uh, don't like Seal, or Dugong, or Krabby, or Kingler, or Grimer, or Muck. Although I do like Alolan Grimer and Muck a lot. An Earth Badge makes all Pokémon obey you. Regardless of how high their level is, or who originally caught them. It is proof of your mastery as a Pokémon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokémon League. And this TM, a gift for a trainer who dares take on the challenge of the Pokemon League. Put it in the two one TM case. I can't face my followers after being defeated like this. Team Rocket is. As of today, Team Rocket is finished. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to Pokemon training again. We've reformed in this evil criminal. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. <laughs> Good job, Morella. Arcanine is my favorite Pokemon of all time. Yeah, I think Arcanine is hard to hate, man. Arcanine's wonderful. Don't particularly like Lickitung. I, there's some I go back and forth on. Lickitung is one I go back and forth on. Execute is one I go back and forth on. Congrats, kid. Boy, though, what a shock. I never thought a criminal would use a Pokemon gym as their hideout. That's it, I've decided. I'll look after the Radiant City gym from now on. I don't really like to get tied down. So I've always said no when they ask about it, but I'm finally ready. 
I'll be the gym leader from now on. I want to battle you. Huh? I mean, sure, but I think you've got a bigger challenge to face right now. So then, Morella, time for you to take on the Pokemon League. Just keep going along Route 22 to the west of here and you won't miss it. It's time. Do you guys watch the YouTuber um, Mighty Keith? I really love his style of comedy and I think he is extremely funny. He posts Smash videos and Dragon Ball Fighters videos and he does bits. Definitely not for everyone, I would imagine, but I like him quite a bit. <clears throat> it's time, boys. That boy's just cr yes, yes, you know. Uh, his latest I'll, I'll, I'll See You in Ultimate video, I thought was pretty good. <clears throat> I've seen him comment on your videos. Do you watch Naked Jakey? No, I'm not sure who Naked Jakey is. It might be somebody that I've seen, but I don't remember the name. But yeah, can't think of it off the top of my head. I'll have to check him out, though. You guys see me doing? It's Victory Road! Yeah, me and my golem! Yeah, we're rolling along! Yeah, wishing for jellies! <clears throat> Gonna catch Moltres on your way to the Elite Four? Gonna try. Gonna try. You know what? Okay, everybody's good to go. Peace out. Great to watch you play, Ben. Have a good Thanksgiving from everyone here in the UK. Well, Bubonic Craig, that was so nice of you. I hope you have a wonderful holiday as well, man. Enjoy. Eat some good stuff. Guys, sometimes I feel like out of the Gen 2 starters, I'm the only one that likes Chikorita the best. Obviously, that's not true. Anytime anybody says, am I the only one that, it's it's super not true. But sometimes it feels that way. Morella. I finally caught up to you. I got an Earth Badge too. That means we fin can finally get into the Pokemon League. I heard the Elite Four are incredibly strong, but there's no turning back now, right? I think you're ready, Mar You think you're ready, Marilla? Show me the Pokemon you've raised. It'd be great if this was just a team of Farfetch. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Bossman. Gen two is a weird case where I love all the stars equally. Yes, they're they're all they're all they're all good. If I had to rank them, this is gonna upset people. If I had to rank them, Chikorita is the best, followed by Cyndaquil. Followed by Totodile. I imagine very few agree with that ranking. And that's okay. Fun fact, Japanese gamers voted Chikorita as the most seriously useless starter Pokemon. Sure. I'm just speaking from a, a design standpoint. Not, not viability. Unfollowed. <laughs> We should we should rank all of the uh, the starters just to really upset you guys. Stop shooting sand in my eyes, Bosman. Greninja greater than all? Greninja is wonderful. I, I don't like it when people hate on Greninja or Charizard because they're popular. They're still good. <clears throat> Decidueye, best boy. Yes. The 
Decidui is best boy. Come join the Decidui best boy club over here. I have a special Discord. Kyle. Stop healing you Pidgeot! Who am I maining in Smash? Right now I'm planning on maining Lucina. Uh, that is not set in stone. I'll be playing a lot of the Belmonts too. But right now I'm thinking about maining Lucina. I have a special Discord feels wrong. <laughs> yeah. Is the Sidui in Smash? No. The Sidui is not in Smash. Is this your argument? DQ11 on PC or PS4? I actually have not played any DQ11 on PC, just on PS4, uh, which was great. You can mod the music on PC, though, so if that is something that is important to you, which is understandable, uh, you might pick the PC version. But yeah, we got a review copy on PS4, so that is what I played. How dumb... How dumb is it that I'm using this Mega Evolution against this Vile Plume? <sighs> Vile Plume is underrated? I agree. Vile Plume should have been stepping. <laughs> Bob, uh, Sugiyama went apeshit on the mods recently? Really? That... Sad man. Uh, never got a chance to say it, but I played Rondo of Blood because you don't skip and I adored it. Nice, dude. The more people that play Rondo of Blood, the better. Yeah, before, um... Castlevania Requiem, that's the name of that, right? Before Requiem, I had played a bunch of Rondo of Blood, but I actually hadn't finished it, so it was nice to finish it. Uh, death had always given me a hard time, but we got through him. We got through him good. Playing a bunch of Castlevania recently, I actually played through both Symphony and Rondo, and I feel much better in my Castlevania skills now, which is nice. Uh, keep battling. I do like Alolan Raichu better, but OG Raichu is pretty good. Also, the original sprite for Raichu is just badass. The original sprite for Raichu is wonderful. It really, like, this is going to be an odd thing to say, but Pokemon don't always do a great job of looking like actual creatures. The original sprite for Raichu looks like a goddamn creature. Uh, why do we have this water type out against this? Raichu? What are we doing? We're not paying attention. That's what we're doing. We're not paying attention. Raichu greater than Pikachu? I heavily agree. Yay! Good job, Golem. Well done. Don't skip, right? <laughs> we should. <laughs> That's a good bit. Doing don't skip on individual Pokemon is a good bit. It would make so many people angry, but it would just be a fun little joke. I've raised my Pokemon up this much, and I still can't beat you, huh? Oh, that'd be so good. You know, Morella, I've always felt like I needed to look after you. 
ever since we were young. But I think, I think you're the one that has more talent as a trainer. Thank you, Kyle. I agree. It's frustrating. I've never felt this way before. Is that what is, makes it fun to race Pokemon? Whatever it is, I know I don't want to lose again. It's weird to even have to ask this, but let me go on ahead first. Sophie looks proud and is giving a contented smile. All right, let's do this. Espeon is my boy. We have another Espeon fan? Well, my oh my. Only truly skilled trainers can pass through here. Oh, that's indeed a boulder badge. Go right ahead. <laughs> oh my. Well then. Please go right ahead. Who can we catch on Victory Road? Golden Raspberries? Golden Razzies? You can pass this point only if you have a Thunder Badge. Oh, that's a Thunder Badge. Okay, then. Please go right ahead. By the way, it looks like you've got Lieutenant Surge's autograph. It's not the only person that comments on the autograph. That's nice. Must be nice. Must be nice. Hey, man. He just gave it to me. I didn't even ask for it. Must be nice. That's a rainbow badge. Damn. <laughs> All right. Good for you, kid. Random swimmer. What a strange spot to swim. A soul badge. No polywag. No polywag. Is there a secret? Is there perhaps a secret over here? Sometimes in the flowers there's a secret. No. Polywag is a really good line too. Polywag is an excellent line. I know some people don't like Politoed. I do. Mm, Togepi? I really think it's saying Togepi. What is my least favorite type? Mm, probably Poison. Probably poison. Maybe ground as well. I'm not super big on ground. Or or fairy that well. Hmm. Fairy, I'm a little bit more hesitant to say that on. There's some fairy Pokemon I really like. Golem, though. To me, to me, Golem's... I mean, I know he's rock and ground, but to me, Golem is more rock. I do like Golem. I do like Golem.
that's the definition of Gliscor. Who's I don't know Gliscor at all. Sanshiro is so, so cute though. Um, I'm not super big on OG Sanshiro. I love Alolan Sanshiro a lot. Gliscor Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know this Pokemon. Oh my, Gliscor is wonderful. Oh my. Yes, very into this. Nav any shinies yet? We have a shiny Beedrill. That's the only shiny we've got. Ben, you're breaking my heart. How am I breaking your heart? <laughs> Talking about Pokemon you don't like should be like religion and politics generally avoided in polite company. <laughs> I'm kidding, but. Uh, ben Fallout 76 is still down and I'm still sad even with my pizza. I'm sorry, man. I wish I could help you. I wish I could help you. Seeing Golem and that Graveler there is confusing me. No, Golbat, get out of the way. Just having... Once you activate the, the strength and having it always be on is nice. I guess we know it's going to start the big argument at your Thanksgiving dinner. What do you mean you don't like ground? I would, getting into Thanksgiving Pokemon fights sounds wonderful to me. That sounds like great dinner conversation. Most dinner conversation sucks. If I get to talk about Pokemon, way into it. Even if it's violent. Yeah, that is absolutely a best case situation. Are you too good for the ground? No. No, 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 no. Let's talk about Polit Pokemon! Yeah, if I could get into fights over Pokemon instead of politics, I'd be, I'd be very happy. I don't go home for Thanksgiving, though. I go home for Christmas. It still applies. You know, I've never liked Golbat. I feel like I'm pretty neutral on Golbat, honestly. Uh, Crobat I like a lot. I do think, despite being less familiar with them overall, Gen 2 has much better designs than Gen 1. I do think that is true. What is my favorite gen? Uh, that's, that's a hard question, man. Just because my Pokemon experience is so scattershot, Gen 1 was like a religion for me as a kid. I mean, there was a number of years, there was like three or four years, where the only thing that I cared about in my life was Pokemon. That was it. Like, I, I was obsessed with Gen 1 in a way that like I've never been obsessed with anything. It was wonderful. Um, so it's kind of hard not to pick Gen 1. I don't necessarily think Gen 1 is the best generation. I don't believe that. It's just a void that I was sucked into. I seek a battle. You. Do <laughs> you seek a battle? Some of these conversations are great. Unguard. I know for a lot of people, by the time Gen 3 rolled around, Pokemon was getting, like, less popular at school. And that was definitely true for me. Um, but even Gen 2, it happened a little bit. Though I love Gen 2. I, I, played, I played a lot of Gen 2. It wasn't quite the obsession that Gen 1 was. But it was still there.
Ben, would you agree that we need more Pokemon based on dinosaurs? I just enjoy dinosaurs overall. Not to, maybe not quite the level of, of Don Casanova, but I enjoy dinosaurs quite a bit. So yeah, more dinosaurs, please. Yeah, I would agree. Sure, why not? Did you watch the grand anime growing up? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, the anime was on at 6 a.m. before school, and I would set an alarm. I would, I would make sure that I was up watching the anime. Yes. I don't know what I expected. Yep, and my, like my mind was... I've never been excited for a movie the way that I was excited for the first Pokemon movie. And boy, did it live up to my expectations. Seeing that movie, it was like me and a friend and both of our dads, and our dads were not excited to be there. No, that might have been a Power Rangers movie. That might have been a Power Rangers movie. I think for Pokemon the first movie, we went as a big group. But there was some movie I went to with my friend and his dad and my dad, and the dads were just so not into anything that was going on. It's pretty great. I think it might have been Power Rangers. Did you cry when Ash got turned to stone? Um, I was extremely sad. I think I might have cried a little bit. There were, def there were several movies I cried at when I was a kid. I was an emotional little boy. I'm still an emotional little boy. Absolutely. I remember I felt really bad. Yeah, it punched me, man. It punched me in the gut. Bye bye, Butterfree. Apparently, there's an episode. Like, I'm not familiar at all with the later anime, um, but there's there's a bond that Jesse forms with the Pokemon, and they get separated too, and apparently that's super emotional. We really like to catch up on the Pokemon anime. Someday. Ten Eevee candies, really? Really? Okay. Time for your candy. Bumps up all stats. <laughs> Recommend the Pokemon Festival of Champions manga. It's super good. Cool. Always down for manga recommendations. Ben, do you remember Pikachu's Vacation? That's the one where he, like, has the glasses and is drinking the drink, right? Drinking the drink. He's on the, uh, the beach chair. Charizard got his head stuck. I don't remember Charizard getting his head stuck. Member? Do you member? Vacation page could choose when he has to look after Togepi. Huh. No, I don't remember that then. I remember Togepi being introduced in the anime. Uh, but I don't remember that specifically. You got a big mushroom! Golem's like, why don't you eat this, kid? It'll make you feel good. <clears throat> this is very dirty. You're gonna make me come back. What's what's up there? What's behind that? Is it another stone? Always good to get stones. Let's actually go ahead and pop a repel, shall we? Uh, 
Other item is a TM. Okay. Uh, ben, do you happen to know what TM it is specifically? If you don't, that's totally fine. The rolling Pokemon that was coming to Gold and Silver was mind blowing. Don Fan, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Seeing Ho Oh in the first episode. Powerful move. We're fine. Let's get that same type of attack bonus, shall we? Really? Really, Kangaskhan? Ben, do you think that Pokemon has too many legendaries to make up like one-eighth of the total now? Um... I mean, I get it. There's an expectation with new generation to have new legendaries. So I'm not particularly bothered, bothered by it, no. It's way less than one-eighth. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what percentage it takes up. No idea. Have you captured Kangaskhan? The walking animation with it is so adorable. I have, I have, and I've seen it, and it is wonderful. You were right about that. got a Celebi. I always wanted a Celebi. Maybe I did. Maybe I went to a Toys R Us and got a Celebi. I definitely went somewhere to get a Mew. <clears throat> that was fun. Going to the stores to get Pokemon as a kid it was the most exciting thing ever. That was a good idea, Game Freak. Way into it. Also, uh, Pokemon, printing out your Pokemon Snap pictures at Blockbuster, the best. That machine was rad as hell. Good job. Shortcut time. Did you enter the contest for Snap? No, I didn't. Uh, there was a Nintendo Power contest I entered, though. It was They were selling the uh, Majora's Max Zora guitar, and I wanted that thing so badly, I entered that contest. Obviously, they didn't win, but uh, Nintendo Power had some pretty sick contests. Wish I had a snap printer at home. Uh, I always wanted a Game Boy printer. Never got one. Was out of was out of my price range as a kid. Never got a Game Boy printer. I thought it was the coolest thing. Ben, you have really nice blue eyes. Thought I'd let you know. Why, thank you. Sick play. It's nice of you to say. Ben, you won the contest for my heart. <laughs> That's the only one that matters to me, I mean. It's the only one that matters. Every Game Boy accessory was the coolest thing at the time. I had a lot of bad Game Boy accessories. The worms were nostalgic, but annoying as hell. I also had this, like, magnification thing that was awful. Not a Game Boy printer, though.
But, but you got it because you thought it would be cool? I got the worm because I wanted to play Game Boy in the dark. That's what I wanted. I want to play my Game Boy Pocket in the dark. And Game Boy Color. Both of them. Then as then the then the Game Boy SP years later. After a long time, we were finally saved from the plight of the worm light. <clears throat> I did not have a Game Boy light. The Game Boy SP feels so elite. To me, the Game Boy SP was like an everyman handheld. It didn't feel elite to me. The Game Boy Micro feels a little elite. I love it. I love the Game Boy Micro, but it feels a little elite. The only problem with the SP was no headphone jack. Yes, absolutely. Your last stream convinced me to buy this game and I've since convinced like three other people to get it. The game streams surprisingly well. Oh, well that's nice. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm having a great time. I, I mean it. I mean it in my heart of heart of hearts that all I want to do is play Pokemon. Things have worked out surprisingly well. What's up, Evie? What, what would you like to say? Aww, don't be sad. Sophie feels the tension in the air and seems a little afraid. I've never played Fire Red, so this is my only Cantle remake I've played once I buy it. Yeah, I didn't play Fire Red either, Fire Red or Leaf Green. I recently purchased them, but I missed them when they released. I would, probably after I finish Gen 5, or, 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 or Black 1, rather, I would really like to play Platinum. Platinum and Emerald are very high on my, my Pokemon list. Platinum, Emerald, and Heart Gold, Soul Silver or the top contenders. <clears throat> Everyone is like treating Gen 4 like the greatest gen and I'm just so curious. But Gen 5 has also given me very impressed by Gen 5. Probably like I, I really liked Gen 7. Probably more impressed so far with Gen 5 than I was with Gen 7. For for a couple of reasons. This Hypno is going to maybe destroy our Gengar, but we'll give it a try. Did you get that TM? I kind of lost track there. No, we'll have to go back for the TM. Sorry, Hugo. Uh, what was What is that TM specifically again? I, I'm sure somebody said and I missed it. Shadow Bower? Could have used Blastoise Bite there as well. God damn it, Hypno. <laughs> no, Hypno. Are you now going to use Dream Eater? No, Hypno. Just something is great, but the hand holding is rage inducing at times. Completely understandable. The beginning to Gen 7 especially is incredibly slow. I also think... I like some of the Ultra Beast designs, but as a concept, I think Ultra Beasts are pretty dumb. <clears throat> but I've said this before. <clears throat> Do 
You still have your Pokemon cards? No, I don't. I mean, I, I have since bought, uh, I've, I've purchased a few Pokemon cards over time, like I have some lying around, but the ones I had as a kid, I got rid of like a big dumb idiot. I think I was entering high school and I got rid of all my Pokemon cards and all my Game Boy Pokemon games. Which is super sad. I wish I had those save files. I wish I had Pokemon Pinball. I wish I had Pokemon Trading Card Game. I mean, I have it now on 3DS, but I wish I had the original cards. Yeah. Sold them at a garage sale. Had some really rare ones. Just gave that away. It's awful. Entering high school, Ben, was so dumb. I'm becoming an adult now. I can't have Pokemon. Just a big idiot. Needs to be slapped around a little bit. Little did I know. Life doesn't get better than Pokemon. If only I could teach my, my younger self. You got me. Team you missed was probably Stealth Rock. Okay. I'll go get it, hopefully, eventually. I might go get it, hopefully, eventually. Not not in a super rush to go get Stealth Rock, though. I feel like almost everyone had that face. Yeah, probably. Probably true. Well, those decisions made who you are. Maybe if you had kept those games, you wouldn't be streaming Eevee. So stuff to think about. Hmm. That's a good point. But maybe, maybe I would also be the CEO of Nintendo. It's possible. It's possible. Changing the regime. <laughs> We need to make Pokemon Emberades. No. Oh, we forgot to wake up Gengar. Damn it. <laughs> Gengar, no. My name is Ben and I'm all about kicking ass and taking names. Can you imagine? But I said that instead of Reggie. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Eevee is a normal type. Okay. Right. We played ourselves there. Ha ha! that ghost type advantage. Wake up, Gengar. I love ghost types. How do you not love ghost types? How do you not love ghost types? We didn't even talk about Murkrow. We didn't even talk about Murkrow. I just wish Gen, Gen 1 had more of them. Murkrow's dark? That's a fair point, chat. That's a fair point, chat. Murkrow is dark. I associate Murkrow with Ghost, but it is not Ghost at all. That was a... That was a bad, dumb moment. You can't be CEO if you make a blunder like that. <laughs> it's fair. It's fair! It's fair. I do like Murkrow a lot, but yes. We should get its typing correct, at the very least. Bill Trinan would have never made that mistake. 
Can you imagine the CEO of Nintendo being fired because he called Murkrow a ghost type? Maybe that would go down in the, the annals of history. There's a moment the internet would be making jokes about forever. It'd be amazing. It'd be awesome. Like, he just, the CEO just says it casually in conversation. It's not even publicly. And everyone around just stops and stares. Fired. Get out of here. Fall 76 should be available to play now. Okay. How about this, chat? We'll do an hour of Fallout 76. I'll double check and see if it's up. How about this chat? No, it's still offline for maintenance. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. It's still offline for maintenance. We've been had! Are you on PC, Lolly? I'm on, I'm on PC, so maybe it's just not up for PC. I checked for updates as well, and I'm not getting anything. It the latest patch was November 19th. To be fair, this is the best Fallout 76 stream I've seen so far. Favorite legendary Burton Gen 1? Mine is Arnakudo. Uh, mine is Zapdos. Hmm. Well, everyone... I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. We can't. We still can't play Fallout. It's not looking good, folks. Maybe Mr. Howard wants to see me play more Pokemon. Maybe that's what's going on. Who knows? Look at that solar beam. You know where that's going. You know where that's going. It's going on our favorite ghost type, Murkrow. <laughs> going on Golem. Get out of here, growth. Growth is actually pretty good. That shouldn't have been done so flippantly. I wonder what Todd Howard's favorite Pokemon is. Probably Skyrim, I would imagine. I'd imagine Skyrim. Favorite Pokemon. I forgot we used a rappel. <clears throat> Come on, I'll whip you! Not something you should say to a kid. Surprise that... That got by... Nintendo. I'll whip you! What I need to do, I, I have like, in my head I have 
I know one thing at least that every type is weak to, but I don't know all of the weaknesses for every type. So that's something I need to flesh out. You two. Fighting is weak to psychic flying, yes? Yes? Okay, cool. Dragon is weak to itself, isn't it? Also very nice. Got it. Poison always messes me up. I know poison is weak to psychic. I'm not sure what else poison is weak to, but I know poison is weak to psychic. And ground. Okay, thank you. Follow that is up, we swear. It's followed up on PC though. Are you on are you on console or are you on PC? You're on PC and it's up. We're gonna get we're gonna get played again. We'll check. We'll check again. You got played when you installed it. Well, I had to install it for work, man. Don't do it, Ben. We should do it. We'll see. Here, I'll restart the Bethesda launcher. See if that affects it. Just trying everything, folks. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Moment of truth. You got played when you took a job. <laughs> That's a good bit. It's a good bit. Oh, it's up! It's up. There we go. All right. Cool. Give me a second to get things switched over, chat. We'll play some Fallout. 